Boom down, quickie. I'm Gunta. Oh, uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for coming. It is a pleasure to have you. Uh, they are telling me there's no time. We have 15 minutes. All right. What? Um, just um, how are you? What's new? Um, um, I am uh, a little startled to be able to be here, but... They have called me into this, so I am fine. I am doing my same work as always. I am still working with Earth in some ways, and not the same thing as I was before exactly, but uh, we are understanding of what's going on there and all the changes. So tactics had to be changed a little bit to uh, agree with the energy there. Energy there is very much more chaotic. Right. More chaotic energy than usual on your planet in many different areas. Uh, the energies are very stirred up. The Earth energies are now calming down, but human mental and physical energies are becoming greater. We, uh, we feel the crisis is coming, and um, yes. we are looking for help from outside, at least for informational help, for advice. And so far, uh, not many aliens are engaged in talking to us. Uh, people, aliens kind of talk to us about themselves, but kind of they're blocked when it when we ask about questions about us, you know, how can we get well, over the crisis? They are not allowed to sell you too much. There are some right. things that Galactic Council will not allow. So, but I'm from Earth myself, so I can take a few more liberties in the sense that I understand how humans are. Aliens don't understand how humans are, and so it's for them to speak about how humans are would be confusing the information. So I can tell you that the confusion on Earth is due to some outbreaks in several different places, but not only in the United States, as you call it, but in other places around the world, they will start, suddenly start to see that uh, the uh intentions are not pure that are coming from different places especially from the united states they do not see pure intentions there but yet it can be very uh confusing to other countries because they do not look at uh your culture the same way as you look at it with while you're in it you see your country has many subcultures within it because it's large and they just see one particular view of the United States and it's usually not the best one and so they get uh, they have doubts and thoughts about what is coming next from that area and so they always take the negative side because that is safest if they if they expect something bad then if bad comes they are expecting it if they are they go to the good side and then something bad comes then they are taken off guard so at this point they are negatively focused which is adding to the chaos uh, we are a group of light workers, and we are not as much involved in politics, but we are thinking about the future. And uh, what advice would you give us? Uh, we, we can meditate, we can channel, we can somehow network. What, uh, what would be our role? How can we help? You can continue to do what you are doing, plus you can, uh, whenever you go out into your public 
you can engage in positive conversation. Bring up the positivity as much as possible. There's too much negativity in your larger cities. And you need to bring that positivity up. And it's hard with as few light workers as you have to do that. Also, be yourself. Your example and be yourself. There is so many out there that are say they are light workers, but they go into work and become just like everyone else. Uh, from my myself perspective, the situation is pretty much hopeless unless we have a miracle. Uh, and the, the miracle can come either from aliens or from you guys, the humans outside, or from God, but we, we need can, a miracle one way or another. We can only give you so much. We are only, we are few compared to you. Right. So what's your perspective? Are you following the developments? What can we do? What, uh, yes. How will it resolve? There, well, it is those in power that are doing. You, you as light workers can only build your light energy and build your positivity. That is what I'm saying. Positivity, though, is much stronger than negativity. And so if you continue to work with building your positivity, it will make a difference. Uh, comment on my idea. So my idea was that we work with Girk Fitnir to build uh, YouTube videos and uh, send them from up there, from your space, from out of the earth, to the earth to basically to disclose certain information. Is it too naive? No, they have sent some already, but they cannot be found easily. But whenever someone finds them, they are changed in their thought process about some things. This is good. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Pete has a question. Pete? Pete. I do not see Pete. I don't see. I think he dropped. Any more questions, people? Hello. Um, it's Elena. Uh -huh. Elena. Um, I would uh, like to discuss the free energy that we have on our planet and uh, more people or scientists that are awakening and starting building generators and uh, uh, sources uh, or um, machines to collect this free energy. And um, as we know, the American government uh, years ago used to destroy this kind of uh, machines. But nowadays, yes. uh, all but, over the world, yes, yes. But once, let me explain something. And I have to be careful how I word this so yes. that it's uh, not... Um, I'm not, I'm not breaking any rules, but that technology will return. But it will take some calamities and disasters to bring it about. The okay. information that Tesla had about the energy boxes that could run households for indefinitely is not gone, but it is not apparent to you yet. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty con concerned about it. If, if that information comes out, uh, people might use it as weapons, right? How can it, it be so? It can be used in negative ways, but it will be brought forth as a positive means of energy use. Okay. Any more questions? Yes, I have a question. It's Marlene speaking. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, you were talking about the Tesla energy boxes. Uh, there's a scientist known as Dr. Kesh on our planet who is working with a manufacturer in Italy. And he, they are manufacturing the smaller and the larger boxes. Are you referring to this? Those are, yes, but it will not become 
universal for a while. Manufacturing the smaller and the larger boxes. Yes. Yes, they are on the market. Dr. Kesh presented these uh, devices to ambassadors around the country. That was done in last April. And they gave, uh, the, he, Dr. Kesh asked these particular participants at this meeting to go back to their government uh, people, the heads of government, and they said, we give you, give, we give you two weeks to present this and to come back to us with a solution concerning free energy. Can you elaborate on this, please? That will not happen in this economy uh, because it would mean the loss of millions, not just thousands, but millions of jobs. The people that are working with uh, electricity and different kinds of fuels that keep the, your world in, within energy. Uh, it would be the collapse of the economy if they would agree to it now. It has to be a gradual movement, but there will be something coming in your future that will cause some collapse of these kinds of things and will bring that into a greater light and a greater understanding and a greater necessity. Thank you. Uh, what, I'm, what I understand from this is um, that everything should happen a bit smoothly in order the positive vibe on earth for most of the people to be in balance. That is interestingly said, sort of correct. There are modifications and uh, other parts to that, yes. I wonder what's your perspective on uh, the first contact? First contact cannot happen soon enough. Okay. That is my perspective of it. Although your governments push it out a little farther all the time. And who knows how far they will push it. But there will come a time when they will welcome it. Wonderful. Uh, any, any clues on disclosure, official disclosure, unofficial disclosure? Disclosure is happening little by little. Are you watching any? But Go ahead. It, disclosure is part of what, what is happening in your society. Um, are you looking at our movies? Are there any movies you can recommend which would really like give us clues about what's happening? Well, there are movies, but they not all of them are 100% accurate. There are some like Arrival. If you've ever seen Arrival. I will check it out. That there are those species that want to come to the planet and make contact, etc. But there's so much missing from that movie that should have been added. And, um, but that one is one that you should see because there are, are some facts in there that are actually true. Uh, have you experienced fourth density and how does it feel to you? Fourth density is, well, I'm from third density. Right. And experiencing fourth density was interesting but i will tell you this i prefer the third wow but in terms of physics did you feel like you can travel time in fourth density can you walk in the I, morning i felt yes i felt much different but i couldn't get as much done i felt uh -huh. like i was not able to control myself as much as in third density. Right. Uh huh. Uh, are we close to ascension? A of control, and I do like to be in control. And in fourth density, it seems like there are moments when things are in slow motion, and I'm 
not a big fan of that. How is like, your health? How is your health? How is my health? Yeah. You are 70 or around that age, right? I'm in good shape for my age. So you're using alien technologies and you will live longer and you are in very good shape, right? Yes. Nice to hear. Uh, somebody wanted to say something. I just wanted to say that um, from what he said about four density, I, un I understand his experience is uh, like under the, um, un like taking some drugs, for example. Yes. It, yes, it was unrealistic. After you get used to it, though, it is all right. But I still prefer my own density. I feel more at home in it. And I feel more comfortable with uh, how things work in the third density. Of course, what I have to do, I have to do in the third density. So perhaps that's why. And what, what do you get to do every day? Like, how, what do you do every day? Like, I do my studies and I do, um, I have to keep an eye on the different cultures for different and particular reasons. Um, what's your take on ascension? Uh, are we really, is it a legend or is it real? It is real. Ascension is real, but it's your perspective of it that can be very faulty. Ah, so what is faulty? How are we wrong about see, ascension? I, I am not allowed to discuss that because it's sort of philosophical. You must decide for yourself what the ascension is. The ascension is more than one thing. Some people think it is just one thing, but it is more than one thing. It is uh, the acceptance of telepathy. It's the acceptance of change. It's uh, the acceptance of closer, closer spirituality to God. It's many things. Are we close to ascend it to the next level, or is it a long process? It's a long process, but you have... You, there are some of your people that have already obtained it in some ways. But for the whole planet to attain ascension will take quite a while. Did, did you personally attend it? Attain it? Attained it? I attained it here, but not there. Oh, so you personally there have done that shift? We, I have done the shift, yes. Is it technologically or Sagan? I am telepathic and I am closer to understanding of what what personality, thoughts, and intellect are in each of my, my friends and relatives, and know that it is not something to be taken lightly or something that is external. I internalize all my friends and the people that I love. Wonderful. Was it a technologically assisted or just you did it spiritually? It was something that happened because of the examples of those around me. Wow. Was it human examples or alien examples? More alien than human. So is it right that present? They, go ahead, go ahead. But yet there was some humans as well. The guidance was beautiful. So is it right that communication with aliens f physically as helps ascension? It can, yes. I can't say it always does, but it can, yes. Wonderful. Uh, we're running out of time, but uh, I have a question on your expertise, which I think is urgent. So it's really hard to imagine for us a future of Earth without money. What's your perspective on the future of our economy in terms of, are we getting rid of money or what, what will happen? No, there will be a time of transition. It, it, it could happen one of several different ways. What they foresee is that your economy will collapse and that something else will take over because they realize that if they would reincite, instate monetary values, that the same thing will happen again. And so that is what the prediction is, but it does not necessarily have to be that way. They can internally start changing systems 
toward away from monetary use and into other practices that are more beneficial for society but uh, they must it, it must that is a very gradual uh, change because not tear down the systems you have to build and exchange portions of them to make them more usable that, that that's my question I cannot imagine anything other than money I, instead of paper money we, can, we have electronic money are you saying something instead of paper money gold or electronic well, that, money can be some what, what can they, we use you can use uh, your talents barter you there is bartering like it was in the past before there was monetary systems there you can use educational goals you can use scholastic leadership and leadership in the fields as uh, ways to get ahead instead of just money because in the in many different societies you are rewarded not with money but with the things that you need extraneous from like food and water and things of that nature but things that you feel that would help you have a greater and happier existence those are the rewards that you would get and you get to choose those with each accomplishment and rung of the ladder that you move up wonderful thank you very much for coming i was so happy for many years i wanted to meet you and it's nice to meet you voice to voice uh come on come sure. again uh, and we would be happy to continue that conversation very well uh, I, uh, can you give us a blessing a uh, blessing yes one moment I'll get one from the book of the higher dimensional thought processes thank you all right thank you dear my wife she hands me the book. Thank you. Hi. Well, I have to find one that's appropriate. Thank you. Ah, here's one. let your heart be at peace do not fight in yourself who you are you are be the peace that overcomes all the trouble find out where you belong and put yourself in that place for you are a piece of a greater puzzle and you are light that shines through the window and if there is something blocking the light will it not show up as a shadow do not be the shadow but be the light and let all things become undamaged and corrected and mended so that you may know the perfection of who you are and that god loves the soul as much as he loves the person because the person is part of God's creation. He is not here to just be a leader and a guide, but to be your creation, you in yourself, your uniqueness, that is a word, yes, your uniqueness as an individual is his pride and joy. Be not at odds with who you are or be not at odds with who anyone is for they are moving up like you are into the world of the unknown does not a flower break through the ground to see the sun because he is drawn that way and then flourishes with all the other fertilizations and waters that are all around. Let yourself be like that. Natural, growing, beautiful, and kept. 
Much love. Much love. Wonderful. Thank you much. Have a good day. Have a good day. Come again. Come again. Thank you.